What's up guys, this is my next part of my United Provinces Let's Play with on Darth Mod Empire. So, last time we annihilated a French raiding expedition in the, Rhine the Rhineland region. And right now the problem is going to be Austrian stacks heading our way, raiding and just being naughty little scamps. But that's not really much of a problem because I'm feeling quite confident. Recruiting going on. I think there. Hang on, how does my army look? One, two, three, four, five, seven line, two ca two artillery, one cavalry. Yeah, this should be fine. They have more cavalry than I do, but properly microed infantry can deal with a lot of cavalry. As long as it's not too many, I have some to do counter charges and the like, so that's not a problem. Let's see if they attack us or if they am um, if they count. No? Okay. Well. They'll attack us eventually, because that's what they do. I may as well raid their port and make some money. May raid their trade route. But because I've run out of money, wait a minute. What do you do? That's what I like about the game sometimes. <laughs> Prussia taking some of Central America, right? Well, central of what we would call the United States. So, that's quite interesting. Don't really see that very often. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Keep this army on the move. See, they're pretty annoyed, but they'll be fine next turn. Same as th this region. Yeah, see, they're really happy now. Even though there's no garrison, no happiness buildings, no nothing. Uh, but the golden egg for this is Mexico. Such a wealthy region. So if I can get my rake up there, I can show you what I mean. There's loads of ports, loads of buildings for industrial buildings. And ideally, once I take Mexico and these Cuba and Hispaniola and maybe Florida, maybe I can declare peace with Spain because I'd have effectively annihilated them from this continent. I can leave them Georgia, that's fine. But declare peace with Spain. A faction I've been at war with since the start of the map. Start of the game. But I'm going to turn, so let's see both what this French army does and what these Prussian stacks do. So let's do it. Don't really want to move on Paris until these current attacks on my regions stop. Not old, not... Ooh. Yeah, they're signing forth. We're not signing forth, they've just decided to attack. Okie dokie guys, well, I will see you guys on the battle map. Okay guys, here is the battleground. Um, why is my... Okay, the graphics kind of spazzed out. I am on the defensive, so I think I might just eliminate any risk of having to defend through the town itself. So, set up the defensive position about here. And the center line. Have another set of guns set up. Oh, almost stole those guns. Have a unit of line on each flank. Then Dragoons in reserve. Let's do it. Artillery opening fire. Militia, militia. Target their general. Huzars. Huzars actually might be a smart choice. I don't like Australian uniform. No, not Australian. Austrian troops. Not as much as other units, other factions. But then again, these are all fairly boring units. Is that a line unit? No, nope, that's militia. But then again, militia is boring in every faction, so I suppose I could forgive them. Is that a militia? I swear there's a. That must be the unit I was thinking of. The kind of irregular unit. 
time menu fast forward. These guys, hmm, not quite in the right position. Target the militia. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do is I am going to fast forward until something interesting happens. So I'll see you in a sec. Something interesting has happened. It's the charge of their Hungarian hussars. Correct, correct. A unit which you think has more strategic value elsewhere as opposed to charging why even charging just oh why are you not firing by rank i have fire by rank research so why aren't you using it Rotate these flanks. So you're coming straight for the center by and large. So. Whoa, I saw that guy just get shot in the head. Why aren't you flying by rank? I swear you've got it researched. There we go. Canister shot. be a bit kind of picky when it does and doesn't want to shoot properly. But when it does, you know things are going to go well. Shift this line over here. To shift it here. I saw what you were doing. Provincial cavalry. It's such an epic game. One other game I can play is I've got Napoleon Total War as well. Uh oh, winning decisively. One other game I have got is Napoleon Total War with the 3.7 mod. Which would be quite an interesting thing to play. It looks really nice. The game looks really good. Well, aesthetically, it looks very good. Oh, combat winning, but their rate of attrition is a lot higher than mine. So I don't even need to commit my cavalry. Get this infantry to support the unit I failed to put into square quickly enough. Militia units charging my line infantry, but that's not a problem. They have bayonets, but I wouldn't be surprised if they're not as uh, they're not as upgraded as mine. They might just be socket ring bayonets. You know, the variation. I think my bayonets are as high as they can go, so that's not a risk for me. That militia's gone. This unit of militia just getting hacked down. Let's get some shots. Oh, look at that. Custom militia, where's my cavalry? Let's 
fight on the right is still going. It's provincial have it's provincial cavalry. They should be done. Because they're bogged down in battle with lots of infantry with with um, bayonets. And infantry with bayonets are quite good at dealing with cavalry. General's bodyguard, regiment of militia. Shift this infantry body in that direction. Put on fire at will. Fireway ranks down three deep. Let's move up on the militia. These flanking units. Militia. General's bodyguard. I'm charging in this direction. So. I'm not charging anymore. It seems. Hold fire until these units shuffle into position. Don't want to get shoot my own infantry in the back, is all. Such a good looking game. God damn it, why don't you just die and stop coming back? Why don't you just rout? Uh, not a problem. Really. Let's straighten up this join. Militia shoot. Being shot in the back and the flank should be good. Whoa, unit routing. Why? Good. Why are you? Artillery hasn't started out. The artillery never really got going. The regulars should be going down. Fire on the militia. The militia unit routing. Cavalry getting interested. So form square. Some shots off on their general. The square has a phone as well. One square, give fire. Fire. Square as well, preferably. Ah, oh, reloading. It's with one swipe. Destroy their cannons with my <coughs> colonial dragoons with their sabers held high. 
apart from that, that once these are, this artillery is routed and the general's gone, that should be the end of the battle. Come on, you're steady. But you should die. Hold them, infantry. Oh, why? What are you doing? I hate when the AI does this. Because, wait a minute. Yeah, there they're over here. Like I was trying to tell you. Right there, you can wait. No, that's not the general. Where's the general? There he is. There's a promotion in it, whoever gets him. Oh, well, that's the end of it. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys back on the campaign map. Okay, guys, here is the battle results screen. There is only. They have, have a thousand troops remaining, less than I do, and my across the board generally my units gained in veterancy, so that's good. Swiftly back onto the path of retrieving Trinidad and Tobago back into Dutch hands, but we will probably pay for this on the continent with more Dutch lives. But once we hit a point where our money, we just become so wealthy that we can just create stacks at will, then it's pretty much campaign over. Once you hit that stage, there's no challenge in it. You just create stack after stack after stack. Auto resolve. Victory. Then repair and replenish my troops. Constructing mines are constructed. That's one thing to be digging into our economy, and that's having to support the troops we do. Army upkeep, 18,000. So, ideally, this would be the maximum our army expands to, while at the same time expanding westwards. And those Austrian armies have gone. Just flat out gone. Hmm. An interesting turn of events because that means I might better bring this army from Amsterdam. Better replenish it with give it some artillery. Move this army down south to attack Strasbourg and then we're well on to the way of capturing Paris because then I don't have to worry about this little bulge. So I need Four units of infantry and preferably grenadiers. Oh, I can't recruit any more grenadiers. Oh. There we are. I don't know why the difference between these grenadiers. 12, 15, 19. So these guys, these grenadiers have stronger defence, but we can attack and morale, whereas these guys have a, a greater attack and morale. And a weaker defence. So, hmm. Let's see if now I can request peace with Austria. No. Nope. Still not buying it. Okie dokie. Back to the Americas. Just keep shifting this way northward. It becomes a pain because this the um, infrastructure upgrades in this part of the world are very small so your movement ranges are very very small to correspond with that. But right now, Panama, not really making much money. Doesn't have a port, although I think it ultimately has two it can get. Oh, I can build up another plantation. Coffee or sugar? I have lots of sugar, so coffee it is. Although sugar is the more valuable commodity at the moment, that could change. Keep 
keep shifting up rakes. Then once this army is replenished, it'll move on and take these regions. Cuba especially, I think if you can see it, port here, there's another port here. Two plantations, three plantations and a farm. Three plantations, a farm and two ports. It's a, v it's a very, very profitable region. So once, basically once I have Cuba and New Mexico, I should be rolling it in. Then, speaking of which, how are my victory conditions? So, Indian, fa Indian region, Indian region, Indian region, Indian region, American region, India, India. So effectively, once I take, if I keep advancing up to New York, which means I'm going to be at war with Great Britain at some point, unless they lose that territory somehow to the Iroquois, I'm effectively going to have to take most of the Americas and attack India and take a lot of regions here. Ah, oh, the Mughal Empire have kicked Britain out of the region, which means there is no other faction apart from India. Great! So I'm going to have to land several stacks at once to prevent them from concentrating all of their stacks on me at any one region. But ideally I'd like to own a significant portion of Europe as well. And as I'm going to declare war on Britain at some point, I want to control Britain. We shouldn't be too hard. you got the Royal Navy, but if you land... If you declare war on them and then land three stacks, you don't have to worry about the Royal Navy. Sure, they'll do a lot of damage to your port, ports, but it's not really a problem because you just end up um, just taking their settlements before they can do anything. So, right now, things seem to be okay. Oh wait, gotta build something here. But what do I build? They're really, really happy, so I may as well go with um, industrial because it's a wealthy town, so it's going to produce a lot of money, like 600 right there. So if I upgrade it through research, then it can only get better. I need to upgrade military academy. Try and get all the way up to. Can I get riflemen? Yeah, I can get riflemen as the Dutch. Cool. And fusiliers. Okay. At some point, I want to start working on this to get me shrapnel shot. At some point, but. Canaan's marching. Campaign map. That's. Yeah. I haven't researched any naval things at all. Hmm. Spinning mule. Make me lots of money through trade. But I think, right now, this is an end turn. The next turn, or the next two turns, I should be able to attack Strasbourg. Which, looking at the time... Ooh. Let's do it, Bran. Tech for tech, plus money, it, it's fine. If not more. But looking at the time, I'm... By the time I get to a position to attack Strasbourg, that'll probably be the third part of Strasbourg. But... You know, that's not... That's fine. Got to kind of expect it because it's. I'm playing this on hard hard, I think. And I read somewhere vaguely that Darth Mod effectively makes hard hard on the in the game equivalent to very hard, very hard vanilla. I don't know how true that is, but right now it's just hard hard, and it's for my first campaign ever playing as playing on hard mode. It's actually going quite well. Um, this will probably save me the most amount of money getting a there you go, some recruitment costs and upkeep costs so that save me 500 odd gold how much is this? 6,000, 6,500 and I can still upgrade um, it's economic infrastructure keep advancing up I think I might do a little spat of upgrading um, my trade prospects. So let's get some improved government. Oh no, I don't want to do that. I want to upgrade. Uh, I can upgrade one port. So what's the most valuable region? This one. Well, 2,900. 
600, 800, 700. Yeah, this port is the one that's going to get upgraded to take advantage. And plus I have spice plantation, so I can make more money from trading spice. Is Repair that college. Ooh. I think I need to cancel the recruitment of one Swiss line infantry. So let's shift that into building something else elsewhere. Can I still upgrade the government building? No. What can I upgrade here? You know what? Let's do it. This will become, if I have any attacks on any of these regions, Caracas will become my center of operations for any Dutch operations in this region. But I think, uh, looking at the time, I think that's the end of this part. So thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you later.